PC gamers have had a stellar release of games in 2015, with so many games to pick from, exactly what games were the best? In this video, we take a look at the top 10 best PC games of 2015. Number 10, Life is Strange. Life is Strange is an episodic adventure game much to the liking of Telltale's Walking Dead games. Life is Strange does have some issues, the lip syncing and dialogue isn't the best, the game still has fantastic character development and the use of the game's time travel mechanics were very well done. Each episode in Life is Strange builds and builds to an eventual climax. Start from the beginning. Life is Strange is one of the best stories available from games this year, and while the ending is a bit polarizing, Life is Strange is a coming-of-age story everyone should at least try. Number 9, Rocket League. Rocket League was one of the surprise hits of 2015. The developers over at Psyonix created one of the most addicting and fun games of the year. It's a soccer game in race cars. It's the most ridiculous concept ever, and yet it's one of the best games of 2015. The single player is in Rocket League and it's fine, but the real joy of Rocket League comes from its multiplayer. Multiplayer is just chaotic mayhem and is an absolute blast. Something great about the multiplayer is that Rocket League was released on the PlayStation 4 and PC, and the game actually features cross-play between the two platforms. Rocket League is one of the best multiplayer games of the year, and if that's what you're looking for, this is a must-own. Number 8, Grand Theft Auto 5. Yes, Grand Theft Auto 5 was originally released over two years ago, but the PC only saw this game this year. And while the wait was long, it was well worth it. Grand Theft Auto 5 on PC is the most definitive version of the game. Grand Theft Auto 5 is already very good, we've known that for two years. The PC version only makes it better, much better graphics, a consistent 60 frames per second. Grand Theft Auto 5 on PC just makes GTA 5 a better game. and that makes for an amazing game. Now there is one problem with the PC version, the online has a lot of hackers, so that's a shame, but if you're looking to just play the single player, this is a near perfect experience of GTA 5. Number 7, City Skyline. Developed by Colossal Order, City Skyline is a city building simulation much to the similarity of games such as SimCity. SimCity was dominating the city simulations market, so with the failure of SimCity in 2013, there was an opening for City Skylines to make a name for itself. City Skylines does what city builders should and expands on all of those ideas. The game allows for creativity, the planning, the building, everything in City Skylines is so well done. It's great for newcomers to the genre and experts as well. City Skylines has set the benchmark for the city building simulation games. Number 6, Fallout 4. There's so much that can be said about Fallout 4, Bethesda's latest open world game has left gamers with a mix of opinions. Is it a great game? Yes. Bethesda has created a fantastic world in Commonwealth, the atmosphere, the story, the characters, there's a lot to like in the world of Fallout 4. The sheer amount of content that typical Bethesda open world games is still there, and it's still filled with quality. There are problems, a clunky user interface, muddled dialogue, and still having so many bugs, Fallout 4 isn't perfect. But it's still a great game, the game has a ton of content, and it's still a blast to explore the world of Fallout 4. If you're looking for open world gaming to be perfected in Fallout 4, it's not here, but what you will find in Fallout 4 is a damn good game. Number 5, Starcraft 2 Legacy of the Void. Legacy of the Void is the third and final expansion pack to Starcraft 2, and Legacy Legacy of the Void was a worthwhile conclusion. The expansion includes additional units and many multiplayer changes, and it continues the campaign focusing on the Protoss race and protagonist Artanis. The campaign is stellar and a fitting conclusion to the StarCraft 2 trilogy. The multiplayer is improved upon and Legacy of the Void is a great purchase for StarCraft 2 owners, or those just looking for a quality RTS. The siege tank can now be picked up and dropped while remaining in siege mode. The increased Number 4, Metal Gear Solid 5. Metal Gear Solid 5 was shrouded in controversy. Regardless, Kojima Productions delivered stealth gameplay perfected with MGS5. And that's where Metal Gear Solid 5 really shines. The gameplay to stealth games has never been better. The amount of options the player has to deal with different situations is mind-blowing. Added to the fact that Metal Gear Solid 5 is the first in the series to take place in an open world setting, and while that would make one skeptical, don't be. Metal Gear Solid 5 blends traditional stealth gameplay of Metal Gear and the open world seamlessly, and it only makes the gameplay better than ever. While the game did have issues in its story, there's just not a lot to it compared to previous Metal Gear games, it's not enough to deny MGS5 its rightful title as one of the best stealth games of all time. Number 3, Pillars of Eternity. Developed by Obsidian, Pillars of Eternity is an RPG that harkens back to old school games such as Baldur's Gate. 
The game was initially funded on Kickstarter in September of 2012, raising over $4 million. Sometimes Kickstarter games don't turn out great, but this isn't one of those. Pillars of Eternity is one of the best PC exclusive RPGs of all time. The game has a great world, immersive writing, deep combat, fantastic music, and so much more. Pillars of Eternity takes the old school RPGs, modernizes them while keeping the essence of those games intact. Yes, the game has dated visuals, but that shouldn't be your worry about playing an RPG. The game is excellent, and anyone that's a fan of RPGs must play Pillars of Eternity. Number 2, Undertale. Toby Fox created arguably the best indie game of all time in Undertale. Undertale is a very unconventional game. Even though it doesn't look like it, Undertale does have a fair amount of complexity. The turn-based combat with a mix of live combat elements make the gameplay in Undertale very robust. The standout component of the game is by far the story and the writing. It's hilarious but emotional at the same time, and the game will keep you hooked from start to finish with its great cast of characters and the world building. It's comedy, it's fun, it's different, and it's one of the best games of 2015. Undertale is fantastic. Number 1, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. CD Projekt Red delivered one of the best RPGs of all time with their release of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. The game serves as the finale to the story of Geralt of Rivia, and what a finale it was. This time, CD Projekt Red took the brilliant storytelling of The Witcher and dropped it in an open-world setting. Traveling the world of The Witcher 3, whether it be on foot or on horseback, it's great to look at and diving into all of the various content, the main quest, the side quest, reading the lore. There is so much to do in The Witcher 3 and all of it was crafted with a high level of quality from CD Projekt Red. The story in one word is epic, the gameplay is the best of The Witcher games, and overall the game is a fantastic conclusion to the story of The Witcher. And if you've never played a Witcher game, Witcher 3 is still a great standalone experience. It's a must-play game for all gamers and the best PC game of 2015. So that wraps up our countdown of the top 10 PC games of 2015 so far. Do you agree with our list? Do you disagree? Let us know in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye.